In Queensland, the majority of land that our pastoralists operate on is actually leasehold land. The state government owns that land and our pastoralists merely rent that out on an annual basis. They have term or perpetual leases that are granted either for a period of time, generally 30 to 40 years, or in perpetuity. On the term leases, and they're about 51% of Queensland in terms of land area, native title still survives on all of those pastoral leases and that means uh, pastoralists who hold those leases must work with native title claimants to come up with a way in which native title claimants can safely um, and securely access all of that land for cultural purposes, how they can do that, who they can do uh, that with and what activities can take place under that access. As a pastoralist, obviously the concerns are that um, you know, without having a framework in place, without having what we call an indigenous land use agreement, you know, native title claimants can potentially come on. Um, certainly you can't deny them rights. So from a grazier's perspective, they're concerned about the safety of these native title claimants, um, particularly when you're doing significant fire regimes or, or big mustering um, uh, outlays. So um, the concern is for, you know, how, how and when those people can come on there and who can come on there, whether they can carry firearms, whether they can hunt, that sort of thing. Uh, a few years ago, Native, uh, Ag Force worked with the Queensland State Government and Queensland South Native Title Services to actually come up with a, a framework, a, a template ILUA, that's an Indigenous Land Use Agreement, to define who, who can come on, how that they can come on and, and how to really address all those problem issues to make people be able to work together. Since 1996, AgForce has received uh, through the National Farmers Federation a sum of money from the Federal Attorney General to represent pastoralists um, in these claims with native title claimants. So um, claims are, are put over significant areas of land, so they might encompass up to you know two or three hundred grazing properties. And AgForce has been able to go in there and offer one sole representative in terms of legal representative in the courts um, to work through all these issues and put in place Indigenous land use agreements on those properties. Unfortunately, late last year, the Federal Attorney General withdrew that funding, um, which was very disappointing, especially given that AgForce, over the last few years, has worked together with the state government and um, Queensland South Native Title Services to come up with uh, a template ILU, which is the first of its kind, and actually puts in place you know, a set series of um, rules and behaviours so that we can get uh, expedited native title claims in place so that everyone knows the rules and can access that property um, under a safe process. AgForce is seeking reinstatement of that funding. It's a very small sum of money and certainly the native title claimants are, are still receiving funding from the Federal Attorney General. So we're asking the Federal Attorney General to um, put forward equitable uh, funding to provide us with that funding so that we can secure an expedited um, conclusion to that native title process.